This week, we're all about Star Wars Celebration Europe. Our countdown clock says we are one day away from Star Wars Celebration Europe. And whether you're in London or at home, we know you're just as excited as we are for the main event. Tomorrow, the convention kicks off with the Lucasfilm Studio Showcase, where filmmakers and other special guests will be on hand to talk about The Mandalorian, Andor, and more. Plus, an in-depth look at the making of Andor Season 1. Then on Saturday, Ahsoka Tano takes the spotlight for a panel on the forthcoming series Ahsoka. We celebrate 40 years of Return of the Jedi and 15 years of Star Wars The Clone Wars, and our friends from Star Wars The High Republic sit down for an in-depth talk on the stories so far and a glimpse at Phase 3. On Sunday, we'll hear from some of the galaxy's greatest villains, Gwendolyn Christie, Andy Serkis, and Ian McDermott on being delightfully good at playing baddies like Captain Phasma, Supreme Leader Snoke, and of course, Emperor Sheev Palpatine. Plus, a look back at Obi-Wan Kenobi, the limited series that reunited Obi-Wan with his former pupil, Darth Vader. Then on Monday, we wrap things up with animation, talking Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 2 and the forthcoming Visions Volume 2, the eclectic anthology of animated shorts inviting creators from all around the world to tell their own Star Wars stories. And that's far, far away from being everything we're excited about at Star Wars Celebration Europe this year. Tune in for exclusive interviews, select panels, and other fun on the Star Wars Celebration live stage presented by Star Wars Jedi Survivor throughout the event. And don't forget that the latest episode in The Mandalorian Season 3 is out now, Chapter 22, Guns for Hire. This week, we join Din Djarin on an adventure to an opulent world full of exciting surprises. Shh, no spoilers. Watch the latest installment for yourself now, streaming only on Disney+. We're at the halfway point in season three of The Mandalorian, and this week we're joined by Rick Famuyiwa, one of the executive producers, to hear more about what to expect from the story that's unfolding. What can you tell us about what you have in store for season three? From a creative standpoint, a production standpoint, it, it's certainly the most ambitious season we've had to date. And I think we've built upon the seeds that have been planted over the course of two seasons and Book of Boba Fett. And, and I think a lot of tensions and a lot of things are coming to fruition, both for Mando personally in terms of his own decisions that he made in service of, of protecting this child and, and what that now means that he's removed his helmet for the people who took him in, the covert that took him in. And then as his world has expanded out and he's seen more of it and more Mandalorians in it, including in Bo-Katan, what that means for the Mandalorians as a people, as a whole. So I think all of that's coming together in this season. There's a lot more Mandalorians than, <laughs> than we first saw the yeah. first time we uh, we met this guy uh, a few years ago. Now you were on set every day for season three. Well, yeah, just about, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. How would you describe the atmosphere of the production? I mean, I. Definitely, it's a family, and I think what's been great about this is like, look, it's an incredibly challenging show, but it's made by people who love Star Wars and who are incredibly talented at what they do, but also just great people and great people to be around, and, and that's a testament to John and Dave and how they've been able to, to sort of put this creative team together. So for, for me, there's a comfort level to that that I think helps us to really expand the storytelling. But um, so yeah, that's, that's the feel. It, it really does feel like a family. It feels like a, a great team that's coming back together for another season. Because Star Wars is all about family. That's it for this week. For more on these and other stories from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow at Star Wars Celebration. It's almost done. It'll be done by tomorrow, I promise. <laughs>